This side is my over the tightly bra on the sleeve and about 20 inches. But if you're wearing this for rain, it's actually to be so comfortable. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole. So for today's video, I'm going to do a closet tour. This video has been requested several times and I'm really excited to do it. Obviously, I love fashion and I wanted to do a sort of winter lookbook video. So this is just going to be showing my winter favorites and what I'm wearing a lot these days. I'm sorry if I sound sick. It's because I am. I actually got sick like a few days before Christmas and I was so sad because the day I was like at my worst, um, we had a big party and a lot of my cousins who I don't see very often came and I didn't get to hang out with them because I was bedridden all day so that kind of sucked but luckily since I was able to like sleep the whole day I got pretty much better by like Christmas I had a sore throat fever headache congestion and you can still hear the congestion right now and I think the reason I still haven't fully recovered is because the day I started feeling a little bit better I just like went back to doing things like preparing for Christmas and I actually cleaned out my whole entire closet kind of for this video but also because I actually needed to because it was so messy. I threw away like three bags of stuff like old clothes that I don't wear anymore and a lot of packing supplies and boxes because I'm the kind of person who likes to keep boxes like I see a good box I'm like it's a good box like you never know when you could use it but anyways I threw it away so it's a lot nicer now all that aside let's get into the closet tour <laughs> So here is the inside of my closet. This is how it looks right now. This side is all the clothes that I'm currently wearing like in the winter time. And on this side, I have the clothes that I don't, that I'm not wearing right now. So like spring, summer clothes, and then like big dresses. And up here I have extra clothes, accessories, backpacks, hats, storage, stuff like that. And then I have some of my bags hanging here. Those are my demonias. And then those are from Elphick Eden. I wanted to start off with the outfit that I'm wearing right now. This top I've had for a while. This is from Yes Style. I'm wearing it now because the gray star goes well with, wait, if you can see with these pants that I'm wearing. These are like parachute pants. These are from Elphick Eden. I think that's how you pronounce the store name. I could be wrong, but I think that's how you pronounce it. They're a bit long, but they have a thing that you can like pull tight. On the bottom so they don't drag on the floor which is nice and for re reference I'm 5'4 so I'm kind of short and let's get into my actual closet I'm going to go in order of how I organize my clothes jackets sweaters tops dresses skirts pants is how we're gonna go so the first item is this jacket I think this is like the perfect winter coat I love it so much the detailing is really cute as you can see there's a bow here on the collar there the buttons down the coat are little bows and there's bows here as well on the sleeve and like fur trim i love the way this fits very poofy it makes you kind of look like a marshmallow but like in the best way and this is from yes style and i'll be leaving links to everything i think everyone should have a cute winter coat even if it's not cold where you live like you need it for the aesthetic like next jacket is this one this is from alfred eden i think this one's a little more practical because it is very very warm like i put this on and i'm sweating i really like to wear this with jeans like baggy jeans baggy, 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 baggy jeans next jacket is this one this is also from alfred eden i think if you're gonna shop from there you have to be buying jackets like they have the cutest jackets ever look at the little angel wings it's adorable and the designs like sparkle design and these are all textured it's like soft fluffy material which is nice this one is also a zip up i really like hoodies that are zip ups i'm not a fan of like pullovers because they mess up your hair this next coat can you guess where it's from just take a wild guess this is also from alfred eden it's a bunny i had another bunny uh zip up hoodie thing but it was like thinner and more summery so now i have this one for the winter it has little paw prints on each of the sleeves which is cute and then i really love the detailing like the zipper detail it has this little sparkle and then the hoodie strings they have little stars and i added the bows myself i just tied these and then i sewed them on oh and i'm gonna put like a um, how i tie my bows tutorial at the end of this video if anyone's interested we have another jacket 
from Alfred Eden. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I've seen this one a lot actually on Pinterest and I didn't realize it was from Alfred Eden. So I was happy when they offered to send me more. And I really like how all of their patchwork and stuff is textured. I promise guys, we're almost done with the jackets. Literally the main thing I wear in the winter is a jacket and a skirt. But um, this is TXT winter jacket thingy. I've only worn this out once, mostly because I'm scared to get it dirty. But this is like my favorite merch ever that they've released, favorite clothing. It's so cute. The color is perfect. It's nice and fluffy. The little heart detailing is really nice. I don't know if it's like still in stock on Weavers, but I'll check. So that's all four jackets. And now moving on to sweaters. The first sweater I have is this one. This one is from Yes Style. I did add the um, ribbon detailing. I basically just took uh, an embroidery needle and sewed the ribbon in, in like this pattern, as you can see. So I didn't need to like cut any slits or anything. And then this bow I made and then it's attached just with a safety pin. So all this is like really easy to take out in case I don't like it anymore or I want to like add a new sort of embellishment. And I also did the same on the sleeves here. As you can see, I just sewed in the pink ribbon. This is what it looks like on the inside. And this sweater is really cute, but only if you wear it with all this like unbuttoned and a shirt underneath, at least for me, I think if they're all buttoned, it fits weird and it's like not flattering at all. So it's definitely a lot cuter when you wear it like with all these unbuttoned and a shirt underneath. This I really love, it's so cute. And I did add a bow right here. It originally came with like two long pieces of string that you tie together but i didn't really like how that looked i thought it looked like messy so i cut them off and added my own ribbon and as you can see it also attaches with the safety pin in case i want to take it out and do something new the fur trim on this is really nice and this is also like fits really well very flattering i've worn it to a lot of concerts because it's just it's so cute. It's a perfect little winter jacket that's not too like big, you know what I mean? This is more of a top than a sweater, but this is one of my favorite tops that I have. I wear it all the time. Unfortunately, I don't think it's available anymore. Like I tried to look for it because people were asking, but I can't find it. It's from PacSun, but I'll try to find something similar or PacSun actually has some really cute clothes. They're just like really expensive, I think. Like I think this was $40. Next up, I have tops and admittedly these are more like fall summery tops but i just i have them in here in case i want to wear more as like undershirts like this one is a really good undershirt because if i wore like the pink um pack sun long sleeve i showed like this part peeks out which is really cute same with if i wore like a cardigan over this like the lace and the bow peeks out same with this it's just a nice kind of pinky undershirt oh and i do wear this a lot though this um bunny crop tee i usually wear this with like jeans or something something like casual here's some more pink under tops this pink one i like to wear under the one yes style sweater like the one that i like to have open this is a good one to wear underneath and it comes with um arm like long arm sleeves but i don't like that part as much i prefer it as a tank top and then this one is also just like a tank top. I don't really know about this one. I am gonna, actually, I need to take this off because I'm gonna wear it underneath the um, bunny sweater, but it's cute because it has like a necktie thing. Other than that, it's not my favorite. And here's another cute pink undershirt that I like to wear. This is from Emil and it comes with a matching like shorts. So it's a really cute pink set. That's all for tops and now for dresses. I actually don't wear a lot of dresses, especially during the winter to me. Dresses are like very summery. So I have a lot of my dresses like in my summer section. Um, I only have two over here. So first I have this one. This is from Sherry Lou. They sent it to me and it's so cute i actually wore this yesterday for christmas it has really cute um detailing here and it's also really uh thick and a really nice material very soft and it also fits really well it's very flattering it like hugs your body nicely like at the waist and then kind of flares out so i really like this dress definitely recommend and then this is just like a plain white slip dress from yes style this is good to wear with this i wore this was my jingle ball outfit very cute, very cute. I also like to wear it up under other dresses, like lacy sheer dresses. Next up is skirts. So first I have this 
denim skirt. So originally this was all denim and it's from Yes Style. And I really liked the original skirt. It was very cute. It was my TXT concert outfit and I've worn it several other times. But I eventually just like kind of got bored of it. And like once I wear uh, a piece of clothing a lot, I'm like, okay, well it needs to be something new or I need to get rid of it because it can't be an outfit repeater. Like, no. So usually when that happens, I just like change up the clothing a bit. So I added this white like trim underneath. This fabric is actually from a skirt that my friend had me alter. So I just use the extra fabric for this. I'm always finding simpler pieces of clothing and then seeing how I can elevate them myself like quite easily too. So I'll find clothes on Pinterest. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. And I'll like save it. And then I'll find pieces that are similar, but like obviously they don't have the embellishments or anything. And then I'll just add the embellishments, whether it's like patchwork or extra fabric or charms or bows or whatever, I'll just add it myself. This skirt is another example of a denim skirt that I wore a lot during the summer. Well, actually I wore this like twice and then I just was like, I need to change it. So I just added this brown fabric. This was also a material that I chopped off of another skirt. I'm always making skirts shorter. And then I added bows as well. I don't wear this as much. I was more wearing this during the fall, but um, I also have this skirt on this hanger. This one's really cute. This is from Yes Style. I wear this all the time. It's really flattering. It goes with a lot of outfits. I love the way it fits. I think it's like the perfect length as well. So definitely recommend this skirt. And it comes in different colors too. This I was also wearing more um, during the fall, but it's very, very cute. It's this dark brown and the stripes are like light pink, which is nice instead of like white. And it came with a brown ribbon that like tied through these loopholes. But whenever I wear it, I just add a pink ribbon because I think it's cuter. This white one is really cute underneath sweaters, especially when they can hide this part. I really don't like this part of the skirt. I don't know why it's here. I don't know why it's so long. But if you're wearing this with a sweater that can cover this part up, it's really cute. Last two skirts, this pink one. I really like tiered skirts like this. And it has the lace here, which is nice. And of course, the bows. The fit of this is really nice too. This skirt, my pride and joy. I love this skirt so much. It's the one that I cut the fabric off of for the other skirt. Obviously attached these bows and pearl detail. Little charms as well. And very inspired by Mirokuru. Mirokuru? He has like the cutest outfits and I'm really inspired by how she like embellishes her clothes and stuff. Pants. I do not wear a lot of pants. These are like the only pants that I own. And then here are these jeans. These are from Alfred Eden. I am obsessed with these. These are so flattering on me, which is like rare for jeans, I think. And like the bagginess is perfect. Bag it, bag it, bag it, bag it. I like the detail, like all the pockets and stuff. They're a little long, but because I wear platforms all the time, they're perfect when I put my shoes on. These are the other jeans I have. These are like low rise flare jeans and I like the color. I got these last year. I think if you like low rise flare, they're good, but I'm not really, really into the low rise anymore, at least not this low. So I don't wear these as much. That's all for clothes clothes. Now I'm going to do accessories. I think winter is definitely my favorite season in terms of fashion because of all the accessories and the layering that you can do that you just can't in summer because it's so hot. I have this hanger of accessories. So I have this bear scarf. It's so cute. I forget where I got this. I think it was like some random shop and I tried to like look it up. Oh, it was Kawaii Nation or something like that. And I tried to find their store and it it's like gone. It doesn't exist anymore, but they're very similar ones on Yes Style. Leg warmers. Leg warmers are like the best part of winter, I think. These are also from Yes Style. They didn't have the bows originally. I added them myself, of course, but they are so cute. They have like the little pom-poms and these are nice because you can wear them like over the knee or you can like pull them down and just have them around your ankles. So these are really cute. I really recommend these. These were originally over the knee as well, but they didn't stay up. So I just like, folded them down and added ribbon, <laughs> pink ribbon as I do. This is also just um, stitched in with 
an embroidery needle. And then this side, I added the bow here. So they're kind of like asymmetrical. Some other accessories I love from winter. These are skin colored tights, fleece lined in the inside, which is really nice. So this is how I'm like always wearing skirts in the winter is with these. I also have these leg warmers. They have like the pink already, so I didn't add anything. And these arm warmers, of course, originally didn't have the ribbon accessories, but I added it. This also just sewn in the lace part I glued and then with hot glue and then this I just glued on as well. And then lastly for accessories, I think it's supposed to be a bear but it's pink so that's why I got it. And I like the gray and the little face. These are really cute. And I really want to get like white ones, like white earmuffs as well. So yes, that is about the end of my closet tour. I still wanted to show you guys, like do a little like bow tying tutorial and oh i actually have more accessories over here i'll show you in the corner that i'm like working on and i also wanted to show my outfits that i'm putting together for my reel first thing i have that i'm working on are these leg warmers so these were like cut from jeans that i didn't wear anymore and i added the star patchwork these are clips i put on this is from my outfit that i'm putting together but it originally had like butterfly charms but I'm going to attach star charms instead here because the outfit, since it's going with like the blue star sweater, it's like stars, you know? And then I was also working on this. So this is the sleeves that went with like that one pink um, tank top, but I am turning it into Taewon from La Seraphim's um, Perfect Night outfit because I saw that outfit. I was like, that is so cute. Like I need that. And I was like, wait, I can make that kind of. So I'm currently in the process of just like chopping it up and then adding, as you can see, just like adding the little silver rings. I don't know what you call them. What do you call these? I forget right now. And the other thing is these fluffy leg warmers. I really love these. I'm not sure who it is, but wait, give me a second. This outfit, I'm sorry. I don't know like the new jeans members well enough to know who's who, but as you can see, she's wearing white fluffy leg warmers. And I was like, I want those. I can just make them. So I'm gonna add a little charm. That is like my little projects right now. When I was younger in my school, we did a lot of like handiwork, like knitting, crocheting, sewing, cross stitching. And then I went to like a summer camp. They had different classes and I took like a fashion, so fashion designing sewing class. And I also took a, um, it's like a metal jewelry making class. And I think that's where I learned a lot of my, I don't know, skills, I guess. This is what I do, my hobby. I sit on the floor and I embellish my clothes. Very cute, I think. And now I'm gonna go film my outfit reels. Here is one of the outfits for the reel. And the reel actually took me so long to film, but whatever, we're here, we're finally done. And yeah, this is the Alfred Eden jacket, leg warmers, pink skirt, this top that I showed underneath, and I added these bows to my hair. This is outfit number one, super cute, and then it's even cuter with the with the hood up, with the bunny ears. I think it's adorable. And I'm gonna change it to outfit number two now so I can take pictures with it and show you guys. Here is outfit number two. It is so dark already outside. Um, so I need to wrap this video up. I really like this outfit. I think it turned out so cute. The leg warmers I made, of course. The skirt, jacket, everything. I really, really love how these two outfits turned out. But I think this one is my favorite. Oh, and of course, cinema roll. Welcome to my little bow tying tutorial for anyone curious on how I tie my bows. So first you're gonna start with your desired piece of ribbon and you're gonna hold it like this, hold this piece in place and then wrap it around two times like that so it looks like this. And then this factors into like the size of the bow. So if you want your bow to be smaller, you could just use two fingers, but usually I use four, I like that size the best. And then you're gonna take this piece and wrap it around all the way. Whoops and then through your fingers like that. So it comes through here, and then you're gonna tie it in between here, in between this piece. Tie it like that. Hopefully you guys can see. 
And then you're gonna pull these two pieces tight. And then take the ribbon off of your fingers. Adjust it a little bit. And ta-da, that is how I tie my bows. And then I would also just cut the ends. And I think they're a lot cuter this way instead of just having like one loop, having two. So hopefully that was helpful to anyone who was interested.